Hey guys, welcome back to Raven and God Ross Tarantulas. In this video, we have another unboxing. Um, like I mentioned in the previous video, I know that it seems like we're having a lot of unboxings, which we kind of are, but um, <laughs> it's because these things were kind of ordered at different times, but because of the weather, um, they all kind of converged onto this, this week when we actually had some decent weather and the temperature was, you know, above freezing. So that was yay. Good stuff. Um, so I did already just um, cut open the box because my address is on this side and I lack the coordination <laughs> to open this with one hand and film with the other. So um, yeah, I just cut that open so I can hide my address. All right, so let's see another unboxing. Again, this is um, also from Micro Wilderness. I really like their packing. Um, it was really nice, so let's move that out of the way. And we've got another sticker. I love stickers. I do. I'm like I'm like a ten year old. So let's see. So unlike the other unboxing, I actually know what's in this one because this one's not a surprise because I got this one. This one fell my sale. Ooh, time to make the uh, the carpet messy again. <laughs> Gently pull these out. I don't want to accidentally like toss anything here. Putting it all in here again. I know I'm like ooh, probably overly delicate with these guys. So here we have yes, my Brachypella erratum or the uh. Oh, what was it? Mexican flame knee, I think. Yeah, I think that might have been it. Yeah, I forget the common name. <laughs> Can we even see it in there yet? Are you hiding? He's really, really itty bitty. So we'll look for him in a minute. Let's get the other one. I mean, the other one's pretty small too, but it should be a little bigger than this one. Oh no, I hear it. Here it's right. So as you can see here, holy crap. Where are you even at? This is an OBT baby. Can't even see these guys. Alright, so I am gonna go ahead and uh open these up and once they're open. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm not. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? I have to prepare their enclosures and then we will be back and, uh, take these guys out and put them in their new home. Hey guys, I was getting the, uh, enclosures ready, but it looks like our little Brachypelma didn't make it. Um, I know he looks fine, but he hasn't moved for the last hour and he's just like, he doesn't move at all unless I move him. Yeah, I, I gave him about an hour or so, and then still didn't move. Sometimes these things just happen, especially when they're that tiny being transported. So definitely not at the fault of the sender. They're, they're fantastic. This is just one of those unfortunate things that happens. Oh, I'm so bummed. I'm sorry, little dude. I know he doesn't look like he's dead. I thought he was even maybe molting, but like, um, let me, let me show you here. Uh, let's see if I can, like he just, he just doesn't move at all. Just nothing. He just, oh, what a bummer. But we still have our OBT, so. Yeah, that's sad. All right, but that's okay. We still have our OBT, even though this is this is upsetting. But like I said, these things sometimes happen, especially when they're this small. So such is such is life. All right, so let's go ahead and get the enclosure ready for the OBT, and then we will go ahead and rehouse her. Hey guys. Okay, so here we have the enclosure made starter burrow per the usual plenty of stuff to anchor to because it's an obt 
So, of course, we have God Roth filming because this is an old world, even though it's tiny. We have a little itty bitty cash cup. <laughs> All right, so hopefully this will just be like smooth like butter. Like melted butter. Oh, my God. That is insane. He's webbed up the entire, like it's pulling the whole thing out. Oh, and he molded in there. Hello. You can't even tell it's no BT. I know. You can see a little bit of orange. But... Come on, buddy. No, 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 no. Go this way, please. No, nope, nope. Where are you even at now? Oh, oh, nope, nope. Go this way. This way. Can you see it even though it's tiny? Mm hmm. Yeah, you see it. Go, go. Oh my gosh, even as a baby, you're walking towards the thing poking you. I Means go the other way. Come on. Come on, buddy. I don't want you anywhere near my fingers. Thank <laughs> you. I know you're a baby, but I still don't want you near me. And it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not not exactly what I wanted. Oh shit. And you have an OBT on you. <laughs> oh, oh, that works. That works. <laughs> wow, you got lucky. I know it's an itty bitty baby, but I still don't want an itty bitty baby old world on me. <laughs> well, there, now I can officially say I've had an OBT on my hand. Um, I do want to open it up, see if we can get, oh, I hope she doesn't run out. Let's see. Look at that, do you see it? Like really well. Here, let me get in the light better. More light. See some little orange on its butt. I wonder if you're hungry. Let me kill a cricket and drop it in there. Might be a little too soon because I literally just poked you in there, but let me put, oh God. All I have is like huge, huge crickets. Keep an eye on that for me. <laughs> I'm hand selecting a cricket. They're all big. That's all right. Um, and I apologize guys. I'm not gonna do it on camera, but I do have to crush the head and the mandibles because it is a sling and it's really bad and I know and I don't like this is actually my least favorite part about owning slings is pre-killing because I know technically I'm killing them when I when I put them in there <laughs> to have them feed but I, I'm not doing it you know I don't know So, uh, OBT, unboxing and rehouse. Um, I did want to say at the end of this uh, video here, because I know this was kind of a short little unbox. Look at that. Look at that. She webbed the entire, entire thing up. It was crazy. But um, anyway, I wanted to say that um, I know I mentioned I got these from Micro Wilderness. Oh, my God. I'm losing crickets. Hold on. <laughs> and we know we had a loss, but I wanted to say. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to close the uh, top on the crickets and I have crickets flying around. Okay. There, caught. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to say um, shout out to Micro Wilderness because they were not only prompt when I, when I messaged them about the Bracky Palma, um, I did give it about an hour and a half before I sent an email because I wanted to make sure it was dead. Um, I sent them an email not only did they refund me almost immediately, but they apologized and gave me their condolences. And that was absolutely awesome. Um, I've had nothing but great experiences with this company so far. I mean, I've only ordered from them. I've only had three teas from them. But this was better than any of the other companies that I've gone with so far. So um, that was really cool of them. 
Um, and I mean like immediate, like the moment I sent the email, it was like done and they apologized and everything. It was awesome. So shout out to micro wilderness. Um, not just for that, but look, look, now I have, now I have two stickers. <laughs> I love stickers, but yeah. Um, thanks for joining us. I know, I know the Bracky of Helma situation was sad, but sometimes those things literally just happen with, especially with tiny slings like that. That I mean, like that is like right out of eggs with legs, you know, very small. Um, it's always a risk just because you know it's small it's it's being sent and even if it's not small sometimes things just happen in the mail sometimes act of god so that was this case because everything was really well packed really well handled um and everything that i've gotten from them so far has been amazing in an amazing condition so um yeah thanks for watching make sure oh my god i can't stop make sure <laughs> i can't talk I give up. Make, Make sure, sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Ciao. See you in the next one.